All right, let's get going with the penguin. This is also the at-home version of the CrossFit Open Workout 19.3. This is to prove to everyone who's doing the Whitey's Fitness at home, you are ready to participate in the Whitey's Intramural Open, the first annual that is going to be coming up on the 25th of February. So please notice we're gonna have lots of posts and we're gonna be sharing stuff in here. We would love to see you register and show up and come do five workouts with us as a group, okay? So remember, you can do this workout today, you can do the intramural open. This one is the exact same sort of thing that we'll be doing for five weeks. So let's, anyways, let's get past that. Let's get into the penguin here. Okay, so our workout today, we are gonna first change up that's gonna be is we are going to put 15 minutes on the clock. This workout is for time. This means you have to try to meet or break this time. So it's going to require an effort on your part to make sure you can beat that 15 minute time cap. So that's the only change up that we're going to have here. Okay. We will start out with 60 alternating step back lunges. So our step back lunges, tall chest, right? We're working our way back. That knee has to make contact with the ground every time. That's what completes a rep. Okay. After we're done that, we would proceed into our 50 box step ups or chair or stair or whatever it is we're using. Okay, so we come. Now this is the one where it's hard to get it done fast. It just takes time to do. So we would be here, right? We would be doing box step ups. As we come here, we get full hip extension at the top every time. And we're alternating our lean foot every time. So 50 box step ups, nothing super complicated just takes time. After that, we are going to switch it out into 50 box dips, the chair dips, everybody's favorite. I know how much everyone loves these guys. So we're here, right? And we're going to bend those elbows in nice and deep and we're pushing that out to lock out. Okay. We're locking out those elbows every rep, nice and deep. Okay. If we need to, we can bend those legs. And we are here and we are doing 50 chair dips. Okay. So after we're done those 50 chair dips, we would then proceed into 200 feet of bear crawl, or, or we could do some wall walks. Um, if you haven't done wall walks in the past, I'm probably not going to recommend that this is your time to start today, but they could show up in the open and we have scaled versions for that once that comes closer. So our, our bear crawl, right? We would set, take a line down, we would go five feet. So we have to do 200 feet. That tells you how many, you have to do 40 bear crawls. This takes time. And a bear crawl, right? We are here, our hands are down. We're walking with our hips above our head and our hands would start to behind one line and our feet would have to cross. So if our feet are behind the one line, our feet have to cross that five feet as well. So you would have to do that 40 times. Again, this will take time. This will get a little bit tricky on some shoulders and some hips and some legs, okay? What we're trying to do is simulate a 200 foot handstand block. So there you go. It's nice and simple. 60 step back lunges, 50 box step ups, 50 chair dips into a 200 feet of bear crawl. So. Steady pace, you got a 15 minute time cap. When that timer goes, you only got 15 minutes to complete it. I'd love to see some 10 or 12 minuteers come in. And if you don't make time cap, just tell me 15 minutes and that's completely cool too. Good luck.